Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geeky Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. I was trolling through the art galleries over at Renderosity and I came across this uh, picture in the Cinema 4D gallery. And the guy who posted this, D. Jarek, uh, made a Dell XPS case, XPS case, and I thought this was a really good piece of modeling work. Uh, because I'm looking at my Dell XPS case and it is very, very, very close to what he has done. And I thought, gee, uh, if I wanted to model this, the hardest part for me would be to create this grill in here. And I thought, how would I go about doing it? So I thought, well, let me pop on over to Cinema 4D and try something out and see if I can model this grill. Everything else is pretty basic, but this uh, grill part, that might give me some problems. So I popped on over to Cinema 4D, and I thought I would give it a try, and this is how, if I were to model a computer case like that, or a grill, rather, this is how I would do it. And I think you'll find this to be pretty easy. I'm going to come up here and create a cube, now what I want to do is create the length of this cube along the z-axis to be 450. So 450. Enter. Now I'm going to come over here to the y segments and I'm going to add 41 segments. And for the z-axis I'm going to add a total of 5. That's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and commit that, make it editable. I'm going to come over here to uh, my live selection tool and edge selection tool, tool, U and L on my keyboard. Now I can select these um, loops, these edges, and I'll select that one. Now I'm going to use my modeling uh, scaling tool and I'll just scale these out to the edge. I'm just eyeballing it. I don't have any diagram to go on. Okay, let's uh, do the same thing with these two. U and L on the keyboard. Select that. Hold down Shift. Select the other one. And we will scale those outwards as well. Now I want to leave just a very thin space between here. I don't want to. I don't want it too much. About like that. Okay, come down here to Polygon Selection. I'm going to increase the size of my Live Selection tool. I want to select all of these polygons on the side, all of these along the back, all of these along the other side, and all of these along the bottom. I don't need them. Not for this anyway. I'm going to delete them. Now, I got all my little points that uh, stay behind, so I'm going to just click off over here on an empty spot. Make sure nothing is selected. Right click. Let me see. Right click. Come down here to optimize. Click OK, and that gets rid of all those extra dots. Come back here to polygon selection mode. What I want to do now is I want to decrease the size of my live selection tool. I want to select every other one of these uh, polygons. So I'm just going to hold down shift, select every other one just like this and I'll be right back. Okay, ideally what I want is, naturally I want the selections that I have already made, but I also want these little uh, squares, these little rectangles right next to it. And it would be very time consuming and probably tedious for me to try to select each and every one of them and then go to the other side and do the same thing. So I think to make my life easier, I'm going to select a few more than what I need and then I can uh, reduce my selection and that'll make it a little easier. So I'm going to come down here and hit Grow Selection, which will grow that selection by one extra polygon in all directions. So now I have these polygons that I do want selected, but I have all these that I don't want. So hold down control and I can just easily uh, deselect them and I'll be right back. Okay, got everything uh, selected that I want. 
Come up here to Selection, Set Selection, and that adds a Polygon Selection tag right up here. Now I can click off, do whatever I want, and if I want to recall that selection at any time, double click, and there's my original selection. Okay, I'm going to right click and choose Extrude, and I'm just going to extrude backwards just a wee bit. Oh, I guess that will be fine. Okay, and come over here and create a hypernerbs object. Drop that under the hypernerbs and let's click off and let's see what we've got. And that is a very quick louvered uh, grill or something like that uh, for anything that you would want. Come back and select my cube. Let me re-enable that selection of polygons here in the back. I don't need those. I'll delete them. And let me click off. There is my grill. Except, if you notice the corners up here, they're rounded. And I really don't want that. So, click on my cube. Click on, make sure live selection is enabled. And click on points. I want to select the four corners. And there we go. Okay, now if you notice the tags I've got, I've got a Fong, Fong tag, a uh, UV tag, and my polygon selection tag. I'm going to hold down my period key and drag all the way to the right. And notice I have a new tag now, which is a hypernerb waiting tag which gets added automatically and let me zoom in here on my corners and now you see I have sharp corners if I hold down the period key drag to the left with my mouse the corners get rounded off drag back to the right and now they are sharp in fact if you click on the tag you can see how or you can see the corners that are affected by um, um, uh, having uh, kind of disabled the hypernerb effect on those points right there. And that is displayed in the red shading. So let's click off and that is very simple and very good looking uh, grill that you would uh, want to use if you're going to model an XPS case or Heck, anything that required a grill. So that's it for this Cinema 4D tutorial. Thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.